Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to talk about the communications aspects of SenseCap. And in particular, I'll be looking at um, MQTT. And previously, I um, used this mind map to describe my um, experiences and first impressions of SenseCap. And um, I previously looked at um, what sense cap was but today i'm going to look at the communications aspects and um, in particular looking at um, the things network and using the things network mqtt so uh, i'll be describing a couple of projects where i convert from one mqtt uh, stream to my home MQTT. And the devices I'll be using uh, include the data logger and SenseCap garden devices. But um, previously, I uh, didn't mention the um, gateway and we're, we're using the Things Network indoor gateway. So um, the devices in the garden, uh, they're out doors at the moment and they include the uh, light the carbon dioxide with um, air temperature and humidity and the soil measurements of um, soil temperature and soil moisture and um, the things network gateway uh, while this is quite a simple device with a very low powered esp8266 it does the job and um, it's routing all the information from the uh, local LoRaWAN network uh, to the internet. And I'm using the, um, the Things network to um, pick up all my data. So um, here is the project. Uh, and uh, I'll describe two of them. And I'll actually walk through the software and have a look at some of the results. So uh, the first one I'll be looking at is um, the data logger. And the second project, I'll be looking at um, the garden devices. And um, these are all linked on the one uh, program. So um, let's have a look at some of those. So we'll just um, go across to the um, software. So uh, we'll start off with the... Um, node red program and uh, what i'm doing is um taking mqtt uh, as the uh, the node and that starts off the flow so the flow uh, starts off on the left and moves towards the right so we're, we're actually um sniffing and getting the data out of the um, ttn mqtt stream and we're decoding the message uh, both by look, um, sorting the packets uh, by topic and also by the uh, payload. So as an example of that, if we just move right across here, uh, we're uh, starting off with the TTN MQTT and ending up with our um, local MQTT server uh, here. So um, if we look at some of that, we'll look at the uh, JavaScript and you can see it's quite simple. It's just taking the um, payload and um, getting the object and simplifying that. So uh, very, very simple step. And uh, when we sort out by topic for this series, we're looking at the um, uh, devices on F3. And uh, they come out here as um, the soil devices. We can have a look at them here, the uh, messages. So you can see uh, in the array of messages, I'm taking one at a time and the measurement values. And uh, that goes on to the, uh, the graph and also on to the MQTT server. And uh, the results go to Excel. Uh, 
they go to um, the graph and also to Excel. So if we look at the graph results, uh, we go across and you can see there's the, uh, the graph for the carbon dioxide. Moving down, we've got the graph for air. Uh, we've got the humidity and the light measurements. And we've also got the uh, soil measurements. So uh, here, here we are here, the um, soil is quite dry at the moment, but the uh, temperature is gradually going up. And um, we do, uh, we can actually look at the output also uh, in the debug area. So here we're looking at the, um, the light values and just opening that up, you can see that um, we have formatted the payload so that it can go straight into Excel. And a previous one, uh, the um, payload is 30.6, and uh, that is the um, the carbon, uh, that is the uh, measurement for our carbon dioxide. Okay, so we have a look at um, the data logger. Uh, and before we do that, we might go across to uh, the um, application here. So this is on the Things um, network. And uh, the viewer here uh, allows me to see my applications. So the two that are, are of interest is the um, garden devices. And you can see that I've got um, three devices here. And uh, to look at that in more detail, we'll um, move across and see all the activity. And uh, you can see that this has been logged in every five minutes. And you can check out the payload. So there's an example. And as we scroll down, we can see the, um, the measurement here. The value uh, is 7846. And that's... Um, the data on the uh, the things network, and if we do something similar and have a look at the um, so here is the a much simpler um, uh, flow on node red, and we might expand on that, and could wait just for a, a result to come through. So um, result has just come through at the moment, and um, Something similar, we go to the um, MQTT server on the Things network and we decode the messages. And uh, what we're interested in doing is um, checking out the level of a binary switch, whether it's zero or one. And uh, that's going off to our home, MQTT, and it's also been saved as an Excel file and graphed. So you can see on the results on the right what those uh, values are. So the current value of the um, switch is high and the payload reports that as being a one. So um, if we go to MQTT Explorer, we can see the history of that. So there's a data logger and I've been toggling that. At the moment it's one, but it was zero and um, the uh, software MQTT allows us to uh, track all of that. And we can do the same thing with the um, soil. Uh, so if we wanted to look at the soil temperature, there's our record on MQTT Explorer. And we're currently looking at the data on the local home MQTT server. Uh, and uh, we've also got the air, air measurements of humidity light, uh, carbon dioxide, and uh, air temperature. So that's it. So we've um, routed the data from the uh, MQTT um, server at the Things Network, and that's going to our local MQTT home server. So that's it for now. Catch up with you later.